Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here, and in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this audio spectrum effect that you're seeing down here at the bottom of the screen inside of Adobe After Effects. So this audio spectrum effect can be used in a variety of different circumstances. Let's say that you're producing a podcast and you wanna have a promo video on, let's say, Instagram. You can create a square video, which I'm about to show you in After Effects, and you can illustrate the person talking through audio waveforms and have text like, hey, check out this episode this day of the week. You know, it could be that simple. Or if you're promoting music, let's say you're an artist, a musician, and you wanna promote your music, you can display the audio waveform along with your music track. So let's go ahead and dive in and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, you guys, so I'm inside of After Effects CC 2017, and I'm going to go down here to create a new composition and I'm going to make it 1080 by 1080 because I want it to be square, right? And the background can be any color, I just have a dark sort of purple magenta color. Then I'm going to hit OK. So I have a new comp, it's open. Now I have this audio file and it's of me just talking as a sample. I'm going to drag that audio file down into the composition, all right? Now the next step is to create a new solid which we are going to apply an audio spectrum effect to. So right click here in the empty space and select new solid and just hit okay. Now what I'm going to do is go up to effects and presets on the right and you're going to type in spectrum and audio spectrum under generate should appear then you're gonna click and drag that on the black solid, all right? And then immediately you will see that there are a bunch of dots visualized on the screen. Now, what we're going to do is customize this, okay? So first, under audio layer over here, you're going to select audio one wave because that is the audio that we want to illustrate. So once that's selected, then you can use the start and end point to determine where this audio spectrum will exist. So you'll notice that if I scrub to the left, it'll extend out. And if I scrub to the right, it'll be more towards the center for the start point. So I want it to lay across the entire bottom. So I'm gonna pull that over to about 25, same on the other end. And also I wanna bring it lower down. So I'm going to actually move the Y orientation down, let's say to about there. And then I'll just type in 1011 to match that, okay? The next step is to adjust the frequency levels that will appear. Since we wanna show as many frequencies as possible, let's just bring this down to one. And let's bring the end frequency to, let's say about 1500. Now the frequency bands, what this is, is how many bands do we see on screen? Right now it has 64, so there's 64 dots that we see. So I'm gonna change that to, let's say maybe 75. And this is all depending on the look that you want. And the maximum height, that's how high that we'll see the bars. So let's actually make it quite high. Let's make it about 15,000. And so as I scrub through right now, you can start to see the effect. This is matching my audio waveform. So if I open this up, you can see my waveform here and you can start to see the visualization happening where the audio is taking place. So the next step is to adjust the thickness. How thick do you want those bars to be? Right now we have 75 bands. How thick do we want the bands to be? Let's change it to about 10 and then let's drop the softness down let's say to about 15 and here is where we can choose the color let's say we want it to be more yellow so we're going to select the inside color to be more yellow and you'll notice that the outside color there's like sort of a pink tinge to it if you like that you can keep it but i'm actually going to make it more of a green color okay now, if let's say you want more like sort of a rainbow effect, you can use the hue interpolation to do that. So let's say, let's bring this to 270. You'll start to see that there's a spectrum interpolation taking place in the colors. 
So over time, you can see that it changes colors. It's pretty cool, right? So I like that, but I only want the audio waveforms to go up. I don't want it to be down and above, right? So this is where we choose the side options. And right now it's on side A and B. And I just want it to be on side A. So if I change it to side A, you can see that the audio waveforms only occur above, right? And also if you want a more analog effect, you can choose analog lines and it kind of makes it look like a heartbeat. So I don't really like it that much. And there's also dots, which is not really the style that I'm going for, but I just wanted to show it to you in case you were interested, but I'm gonna keep it at digital. All right, so I think it looks pretty good. And again, you can totally update this. Let's say you really want the thickness to be thick for the bands. So you can say, so you want it to be 25 then you may wanna decrease the frequency of the bands down to let's say like 40. And then of course you wanna reduce the softness. So here you get thicker bands, right? You just wanna make sure that you don't have as many bands so it looks nice. So let's say that we like this effect here. Um, what I can do now is just, let's say that you wanted to put this up on Instagram, right? What you're going to do is just create some text on screen. So all I'm going to do is just go hit um, down here in the composition. I'm gonna hit Command T and I'm going to just type here. Let's just say episode, let's say 25 featuring Premiere Gal. So I'm gonna go up to window and go to tools so I can see my tools. Now here I'm going to select the arrow tool again, and I'm going to just bring this down a bit. And now I'm going to type out new text. So let's say listen every Friday, let's say. I don't have a podcast, by the way. I'm just typing this out here. And I'm going to decrease um, the letting, which is the space between, or bring that down. I'm also going to increase the size. Let's say now we need to increase the letting again. Now let's say we wanna change the color of listen to let's say a yellow color, maybe this color here, perfect. And what else would you want on a podcast? Um, probably the URL, right? So um, if you wanted to put in your URL, premiergal.com, let's highlight that text, let's bring it down a bit. And then Let's just place it underneath Friday. And now we have a podcast promo. Amazing, right? We may want to decrease the, the amplitude or the height because it is sort of bleeding in. So we could go back to maximum height and let's bring it back down to 10,000. That way it's not quite as high. See? Great. So now if you wanted to export this, for Instagram, just go up to File, Export, and you can add to Render Queue. And now this will pull up the Render Queue here and you can output it, say on our desktop, Let's just call it Podcast Promo. And then you need to change the settings, right? So you need to go to Lossless. And here is where you can change the format. It'll pull up new settings and you can change it to H264, right? And hit OK. And then we want it to be 1080 by 1080. We don't want to resize it Then just hit OK. And then hit render. And here is what the final result looks like. And I am recording some audio for the Essential Sound Panel. So I hope that you guys found this tutorial useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted every time I make a new video every week. All my videos are designed to help you become a better shooter, editor, producer, or what I like to call a shredditor. Thanks so much you guys for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.